The purpose of this video is to highlight some errors made by Donnie Gilson, also known as YouTube user Ursu Adams. Donnie is a controversial character and possesses many insights and claims that I do not agree with. However, that's what the First Amendment is for. Therefore, he has a right to exercise free speech the same as I do. One can either choose to listen or to not listen to another's views. However, I do have a right to rebut his scientific claims, and that is what I intend with this video. Now at the time of this video, Donnie has around 240 videos to sift through, so I'll be focusing on just one of them for now, his video from October 22nd, 2011. Let's listen to part of it where he's concerned about the moon. I mean, literally guys, something's happening because Look at the shading of it. And I'm, going to sh and I'm going to prove to you that right now, according to NASA, this is not how the moon is going to sh supposed to show. But I'll tell you, something weird is happening. Something really, really strange is happening, guys. Look at that moon. Let's go in and take a look. Now, before I get into uh, this footage that I want to show you in regards to the satellite, uh, i got to show you something uh, incredible, guys. Okay, so this is the moon you just saw that a second ago, okay? Now, I'm going to bring you back here to a site that I go to normally. Uh, it is from the U.S. Geological Survey, Flagstaff Field Center. Actually, the website Donnie is using is called formilab.ch, and it's not any part of the U.S. Geological Survey or NASA. In fact, it isn't from any government agency whatsoever. This website was created by John Walker out of Switzerland. This moon viewer is simply a way to look at images of the moon. This moon viewer uses the Lunar Albedo database created by the U.S. Geological Survey for its images. Okay, currently, right now, I am in San Francisco, California, uh, and uh, the latitude and longitude is 37.77, 12241. All right, so I'm going to plug those coordinates in here. Uh, as you can see, 3746, 12225, and I'll update it. And this, guys, is what the moon is supposed to look like right now, according to NASA. Guys, look at this. What's up? And we just had a 4.0 earthquake yesterday uh, here in San Francisco. Something's wrong here, guys. This is not right, according to that. And then when I took a look at what the moon cycle, of course, today is supposed to be, uh, we'll go back here, we'll take a look at the current moon cycle. It's a warning, uh, a waning crescent. Then I just typed in waning crescent west coast. We want that should look like. This is probably the closest one I could come up to. Uh, and that was in 2008. But look at these. These all don't look right. That don't look... That don't look right. Why is NASA showing that? That doesn't look right at all. Guys, there is a screw up somewhere in here. Something's got not right. I'm going to go Wait a minute, don't do that. You've plugged San Francisco coordinates into a moon viewer that is designed to accept lunar coordinates. Here's an email I received from the creator of the website confirming this. Why is NASA showing that? Well, what that is is the far side of the moon. You can tell because of the crater. This is the Aristarchus crater on the moon. It's always in the same place when we look at it from the Earth because this side of the moon is always faced towards the Earth. Here's another view of it over here. In this picture, we clearly see that the Aristarchus crater is over here on the right-hand side, making this area the far side of the moon because he entered lunar coordinates 3746 12225 sure they may be san francisco coordinates on earth but on the moon that's what these coordinates look like 
there's no question about the moon phase for that day in October 2011. On the 22nd, it is a waning crescent, according to any scientific material you want to refer to. Even the Farmer's Almanac says that on the 22nd, it's a waning crescent, 23% of fall. I just look right at all. Guys, there is a screw up somewhere in here. The reason it doesn't look right is because we're looking at the wrong side of the moon. So we have latitude and longitude on the Earth, and we have latitude and longitude on the moon. A simple mistake, maybe. And if we use the moon viewer to view the same date, the same time, from Earth, and update it, we'll see that it does show from Earth the waning crescent that we've been talking about. But remember, it's all about the First Amendment. We're allowed to view things as we want. Thanks for watching.